You are now listening to the How to Evolve podcast. You can find this channel on Twitter, Gab.ai, BitChute, and Minds.com. This is a Real American Patriot channel for Real American Patriots. If you're not a Real American Patriot, please exit the channel. Furthermore, we are not sponsored by any outside interference. That means we're unscripted, unrehearsed, and unedited. With that being said, transmission will commence momentarily. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the Hollywood Podcast. My name is Saban. You can find me at Minds.com, BitChute, Twitter, Gap.com. What's the point? Like, share, and subscribe. Okay, let's get to the ni- get down to the ni- nitty and gritty, all right? And this episode is from Breitbart. I'm going to leave a link in the description. This is regarding the boycott. Now, Hollywood is outrageous again. Is there anything new? Is there anything else that the Hollywood elitists are not outraged about? All right, and this article is said that this time they're outraged about the Equinox and Soul Cycle. Over owners Trump fundraiser, right? If you don't know what Equinox is, Equinox is this um upscaled gym, right? Upscaled twenty four hour uh, not twenty four hour, but it's a gym for the rich. It's a ex- very expensive gym. All right, that people with money go to. It's not a twenty four hour fitness. It's nothing shaggy like twenty four hour fitness. It's not running down like LA fitness. All right, if I offended you about these gym, I'm sorry, but Equinox is not uh, LA fitness. LA Fitness, 24 Hour Fitness is not, is not even in the same ballpark of, as Equinox. Equinox is a top of the line gym out there. Right? Not even Gold Gym is at the same. Maybe Gold Gym is equivalent, but not it's not it's not it's not no Planet Fitness or anything like that, right? Or any type of fitness. But Equinox is a very upscale gym. Alright? But let's read this article. I digress. Let's read this article, right? Put this article up. Once again, you guys are greatly appreciated. Well, you guys, this po- this channel would not be possible. Right, Hollywood boycott Equinox soul cycle over Trump fundraisers. Right, this guy. Look at this. Look at this guy. This guy, Michael Moore, is the last people that you would actually see in the gym. Right, this guy. What is he talking about? Have you ever been to a gym? Have you, Michael Moore? Have you ever seen a gym in your life? Have you ever seen a gym? Right, this guy is pathetic. Lying to the people for years. A slew of Hollywood leftists have uh, have taken the social media to announce their follow that they have canceled their membership at Soul Cycles and Equinox, the luxury fitness company owned by billionaire Stephen Ross, who is set to lose set to host a fundraiser for President Trump in Southampton this weekend. All right. That is it. Just canceled my Soul Cycle membership. Left wing doc- documentary filmmaker said was it Michael Moore. Are you serious? Are you serious? You're the last person I act, I would actually expect to go to the gym. And you need to lose a few gym. Where are you going to go? 24 Hour Fitness? Bally's? Bally's don't exist anymore. <laughs> LA Fitness? Planet Fitness? What are you talking about? You look like you need the gym, if anything. <laughs> the Daily Beast Billionaire Owners Equinox Soul Cycles Fundraiser, right? Just contact Equinox to cancel my membership. One of many years, money talks, especially when these monsters, if it's too convenient for you to trade <coughs> luxury gym for another, then you should be ashamed. Disrespect for a wonderful employee. Look on <coughs> Equinox. Bye. It's the actors Billy Etchner's. You know what? Equinox could survive without <laughs> Look, not unless you're a really rich and you have home gyms. Which pe- most people don't like to use the home gym at all. They love to. They like to go to these um, elaborate um, clubs because they want to see people, right? But people who who good luck getting people to walk away from this luxury gym. What do you expect them to go to? Twenty four hour fitness. Twenty four hour fitness. LA Fitness is not comparable to Equinox. I I work by Equinox. It's huge. It's not comparable to. To these, and not only celebrities go Equinox, a lot of people go Equinox. Business people go Equinox, all right? A lot of people, wealthy people go Equinox, all right? Not just celebrities. Billy Richard, ridiculous. Proceeding to Trump fundraisers, pro- proceed from the pro- Trump, fa- proceed from the pro- Trump fundraisers, which is selling six figure tickets, will go to the president reelected campaign. Equinox released a statement. In the action of high-profile boycott company, then this is from um, exercise chain from the political activity of Ross. SoulCycle is no way endorsing the political fundraising event being held later this week. SoulCycle said we re- we committed for our riders and the community to live Mr. Ross 
to leave. We live in Mr. Ross and a passive investor and is not involved with management of soul cycles. That's a tweet. Still, the Hollywood left um, protested. Check out the following. Sophia, I don't even know who she is. How are you relevant, woman? <laughs> I don't know who you are. Well, by you soul cycle. Like, who are you? Who is Christine? Who are you? Christine Teigen? Who are you? Like, where are you going to go? You going to go home, Jim? I mean, these people have enough money to go home, Jim. I don't know why they go to home. Equinox work. Even one cancel the soul cycle membership. It was, it was ridiculous. George Takai? This guy doesn't look like he's working out at all. Like Morgan J. Freeman. Like, that's fucking so sad. Oh, fuck. oh, my God. This guy's an old man. He's talking like that. What, what kind of example is leading? Brian Koppelman. Who, who is he? Who are these famous, famous people, allegedly? All right. This is showing how crazy these people are. Not only that, I think they're boycotting. Um, let me see who are they boycotting as well. There's another person that they're boycotting. Is the Dolphins? Owner, is it the same person? Let me see. There you go, another one. Kenny Still. Let me see if this one's in there. All right, Kenny Still ripped Dolphins owner for hosting the Trump fundraisers. Miami Dolphin wide receiver Kenny Still criticized his boss, owner Stephen Ross, the same guy who owned the Equinox fundraiser, Donald Trump. Still, who kneeled during the Star Spangled Banner before NFL game protests? Um, racial inequality does not think Ra does doesn't think Ross, which who chaired the Ross Initiative in Sport and for Equality, can run the Fund Foundation and also raise money for Trump. Quote: You can't not have a nonprofit with a mission statement that open your doors for Trump. Still, still tweeted. This guy's ridiculous. According to the the Washington Post, Ross is hosting a fundraiser in the Hatton for Trump. It'll cost $250,000 to attend and including lunch and private roundtable and photos. Rice was started in 2015 to equip professional colleagues and school-age athletes, coaches, and sport administrators with the tools to be leaders in addressing matters of racism, prejudice, and diversity inclusion. It it's unclear why I still feel Ross can lead rise, rise money, and raise money for President Trump. I know that's not confusing, but that's how it's spelled, raise, raise and rise. Yeah. Still has um, protested during the national anthem, and the last three NFL season was called out by Trump Twitter in September 2018. Trump tweeted a photo that um, shows Steele and Miami teammate Albert Wilson kneeling during the anthem. All right. In the following tweet, Trump said, "Wow, NFL first game rating are way down over already. Really bad last year. Comparison viewership declined thirteen percent. The lowest in over a decade. If the players stood proudly for the flag, the anthem, it was it will all show on the broadcast. Maybe rating could go back up. Otherwise, worse." And the quotes. NFL TV rating bounced back in 2018, perhaps because the anthem kneeling movement lost some steam, and still, and still, one of the last player kneeling, Wilson, suffered a season-ending injury earlier last season. He he was out of the picture, and only player who kneeled every game he played last season was Carolina Panther Eric Reed, which is a rid ridiculous person. Still has no intention to stop kneeling or activating at any time. Go ahead, kneel, man. Nobody don't want to work with you then. Good luck. Activism isn't something you just you just kind of get involved in and then turn your back on it. Yeah, activism is basically a lot more. Activists don't accomplish anything. What are you talking about? What, what was the last activist that accomplished anything? And don't use Mahatma Gandhi. All right? This guy, Mahatma Gandhi, if you guys aren't aware of Mahatma Gandhi, he's a British agent. He was set there. He's a, he's a controlled opposition, all right, from the British agent. So you got to look up on that, all right? But let's, I digress. But still said in 2018, once your eye open, some of the things that are happening, you continue to work, to work and try to grow, to create changes in the rest of your life. It's something I commit to forever. So he's woke. He's one of those woke people, woke or broke people. 
Still represent people claim, claiming his need during the anthem is disrespectful to the one military flag, fire flags, or police. This has never been against the military flag. That's what you're doing. And that's what you're doing, Still said. Uh, well, else, why else doing it? The big reason still kneel during the anthem is to claim because this unarmed black men are being killed. And how do you know for sure? Were you there? <laughs> Were you there? These people are taking sides without even accepting all evidence. I remove my filter when I, it comes to politics, religion, and social issues. Ridiculous. Still told ESPN in January, I'm not worried by whether people are confronted by uncomfortable unarmed black men or being killed by police. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's unfair that we have got people sitting around being uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable within that. People want to stay in their own bubble and they don't realize how much privilege this is. <laughs> oh my God, now it's a privilege thing. You know what? These people that got shot up by police is the own wrongdoing. They don't know how to behave. They don't know how, they don't know how to comply with the orders. These people that got shot from police are basically bastard or single mothers who were never taught properly how to deal with the police. When you, when you talk to police, you obey all his orders. Say, yes, sir, yes, sir. Sign a ticket and move on. They don't, uh, police don't have intention in mind to go kill black people every day. <laughs> all, all, anything that goes in their mind is to come home safe. All right? For some reason, oh, my God, these people are ridiculous. The reason why these people get shot, God forbid, they... they 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 fail to abide orders. They instead they complain, 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 complain. Run from the police. Like if you got nothing to fear for, fear if you haven't done anything wrong, why would you run for the police? It make any sense? All right, stop reaching out for get a, your wallet. When your cops say your hand, pull your hands up. You don't say you don't turn around and get your wallet because the guy, the cop don't know what you're doing. All right, for all he know, you, you you're going around grabbing a gun. And there's far too many examples where that happened and police getting shot. People don't people don't equate that there's a lot of police killing. Not only this is what happened when you're in confrontation. Fire can be shot and somebody can get shot. Alright. And for some reason they think the police are killing black people for the heck of it. Like this steel guy. Steel guy is so woke. All right, he's not. He's just um, generalizing every incident. He's not even knowing taking any, every case by case. All right, I'm sure. Yeah, there are, there are some incident that might lead to that thing, but not all situations are like that. He don't understand that. He just assume everything are like that. Not everything's like that. These these kind of woke people. This is how they think. They're idiots. Some of the South Florida media wonder if still ripping his boss on Twitter would lead to him being cut or traded. I hope so. The Miami Dolphin resist to suggest to resist the suggestion of trading releasing Kenny Steele when it was bro broached before the season. According to lead sources, reason of wondering if the trade um, discussion could be breach, um, bro broached it again. Tweeted Joe Scott. The Palm Beach Post. Ross will likely leave up to general matter Chris Greer, Chris Greer, Coach Brian Flores, who are both black. Hey man, your job's on the line, bro. <laughs> if your job want if your boss want him out, you get him out. This guy right here, ridiculous. This social justice warrior. I bet you. I don't know, man. This guy. He's surrounded by a lot of bastards, <laughs> a single mother. That's why. That's why he think like that. Most. I bet you most of his friends are bastards, single mothers. Right, very emotional. Don't know how handle his, don't know don't know how handle his emotion. Let word control him. This is what happens when you allow words to control you. You don't have rational thinking. You know the old saying, um, "Stick and stone, my, stick and stone may break my bone, but word will never hurt me." For some reason, that old saying is lost into the, the consciousness of a society. For some reason, stick and stone may break my bone, but word will never hurt me. The point of this, that saying is, don't be affected by people's words. Because when you're affected by people's words, you're having people control over you. You're having people control words to control over you. Why would you have? Why would you allow the peop, a person to have that much control over you? All right. When you're affected by people's words, you're letting them controlling you. All right. Apparently, this guy is letting Donald Trump word affect him and control him. What an idiot, man! And that's the end of the article. But. But that's what's happened, man. People are getting triggered. They're they're protesting. 
um, Equinox, the owner of Equinox, right? Steven Ross. Right? Just because he want to bring attention to athletes and bring them the right kind of, you know, some kind of support. Right? They, they, they're boycotting Equinox. Why, why, why not just boycott the Miami Dolphin while, while they're at it, right? Why not just boycott the Miami Dolphin? It's not like they're gonna win a championship. They, they're, I don't think I, I can't. It's too premature to say. I don't know how, how good they are, all right. But they're they're banning, they're they're boycotting Equinox. Like, it's not people who have Equinox are not gonna go twenty four hour fitness. They're gonna keep the Equinox. The other alternative for them is to go to um to have their own home gym, all right. People who have Equinox account, they're not gonna just quickly ditch their accounts, all right. What are the alternative to Equinox? If you haven't seen Equinox, Equinox is a very nice gym. This is very upscale, upscale, very nice, all right? People treat you good. And those is one of the gyms, those um, thoughts, those studies, those Tatianas go to to pick up rich men, all right? That's how they determine what kind of guy you are. If you're the type of guy who go who goes to Equinox, they can tell that you're very wealthy to go there. And that's where the women, that's why the women go there to pick up wealthy men now because nightclubs are dying. But anyway, I digress on that, right? But, but yeah. So, so apparently, they're boy Hollywood is boycotting Equinox, and the owner is being shut down by his own player. This guy's gonna get Kenny Steele's gonna get cut. I don't know. Most likely, gonna get, get cut. He's bringing too much attention to his organization, bringing bad, bad, um, bad memories to his or bad idea to his organization. Now Miami is very. There's a lot of Trump support in Miami, all right? Even though South South Florida is very liberal, there's there's a lot of supporters of Donald Trump in, in Florida. So how would the fan react to this? But let me know. Do you, do you agree with this? Are you going to support it? you think activism is the last cause? you think boycotting Equinox is the last cause? Let me know if you agree. Because of what I'm saying, YouTube don't want to monetize my channel. All right? Because I'm unscripted and rehearsed and edit, unedited. That means I can say whatever I want without being bothered by any outside interference. If you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. Because we like when you like, share, and subscribe, it encourages me to make more videos. When I make make, make more, more videos, I saturate YouTube algorithm. When I saturate YouTube algorithm, it makes my video more expensive to a broader audience. When it's expensive to a broader audience, I might get them to think for themselves. But they don't have to agree everything I said. Just think for yourself. Because group thinking is very detrimental to society. Group thinking is communism, Marxism. Um... Socialism, Democrat, those are group thinkers. They implement um, policy that affect people's lives by taking people's wealth away, people's rights away, people's sp prosperity away. Those are group thinkers. When you think for yourself, you don't do that, right? Because of that, I'm not taking any donations because I figure it's a good enough incentive for me if I get you to think for yourself because you won't affect me because group thinking, like I said, I'm not group thinking, individual thinking don't affect me because they don't come up with this outrageous policy that group thinkers do, all right? But on that note, on that note, guys, let me know you agree. I'll leave your comment below. Um, I know your time is very precious, and I'll try not to waste your time. Thank you for listening. This is the Holly Fall Podcast. My name is Safan, and you have a, you guys have a good day. Peace.